Good morning, saints of God. Greetings and blessings and favor be upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Um, I apologize if you can't hear me very well as I'm traveling at the present time, but the Holy Spirit had pressed upon my heart and mind this morning to send out a message of hope and encouragement for those of you in the listening audience, those who may be struggling with trauma in one form or another. And it doesn't make you any less saved or any less of a Christian or follower of Jesus or believer when you face struggles and battles in various areas of your life. There are so many areas of life that need to be healed and mended in order for us to experience wholeness in life. And I don't want you to fall into the trap of thinking that you have to try to hide what battles you are really facing. And I also don't want you to think that you have to face them alone. Of course, God gives us the Holy Spirit to be our counselor and comforter. He also places people in our lives or people cross our paths who God can use to help us to get unstuck, as I like to say sometimes. And so regardless or no matter or whatever the area of trauma that you are, have, or will experience in life, I want you to know that there is hope, there is help, there is healing, and there is wholeness available to you. Of course, we don't want to belittle anyone's struggle, what anyone is struggling with in life. And, I, and again, I want to emphasize with you that it doesn't make you any less of a Christian or any less saved than anyone else who may or may not be going through similar situations or in different areas. So some of your trauma may be spiritual. Some people may have experienced hurt from people who said they know God and may have let them down. Or some type of church hurt that some people say. Your trauma may be emotional, physical, mental, maybe social. Maybe you're having social isolation. In some cases, maybe extreme social isolation. Believe it or not, this is really a very big epidemic in a lot of Western cultures where we live somewhat independent lives uh, from each other and so this is why the proliferation of social media is so prevalent nowadays and if it's in every emotion or uh, trauma maybe the death of a loved one or relationships uh, relational can be another area where you may be experienced trauma end of a relationship bad relationships some people may be having financial distress maybe even mental uh, struggles today and again I want to encourage everyone listening that th this is, these things are somewhat a part of life to greater or lesser degrees and I understand that people can get stuck in life based on situations and circumstances that happen but I pray today that the Holy Spirit will use this message and those that God placed along your path to get you unstuck today so that you can find healing and wholeness in every area of your life. Yes, it may be a constant or a daily struggle for some, but the help that God offers is available all the time as well. Whenever you need it never think that you have to face life alone and I pray that by the power of the Holy Spirit through the support and help of those who God placed along your path that you will be victorious and that you will overcome 
and that you will be encouraged even now even now it may be good to just confront that even in your mind to say yes this is one area where I'm struggling in spiritually, emotionally, physically mentally, relationally, socially financially and I need help and I want help and I ask for that help first and foremost that God will create a great and sin and aid me in whatever way he sees fit and that he will place the right people on my path that can be a support to me and that I can be a support to as well so saints of God I thank God today for you I praise him in advance for your victory for your hope for your help as you find the pathways of healing and wholeness in your life may you know that you're not alone and that God is with you we're praying for and with each of you feel free to reach out to us if we can assist you in any way and pray with you and praying for you in Jesus name Amen <laughs>